I'm actually terrified of it. I love that feeling. I love the challenge. I just need to wrap myself in bubble wrap first. Hi, I'm Olivia Holt, and this is my passion project. I am currently working on a freeform show called Pearl Summer, and I am also currently working on my music, Love On You, I Just Released, which was my first song that I have co-written on. I have a single coming out in a couple of weeks called Next. So a lot of people may know me from my acting projects or from the music that I've made, but I think what a lot of people don't know about me is that I've more recently gotten into skateboarding. I got into skateboarding probably about a year ago. Kind of got into it in a very random, weird way. This guy <laughs> skates by my house every single day. I remember sitting on my couch with my boyfriend and I was like, God, I just want to be a skateboarder. I think skateboarding is so cool to get from point A to point B on a skateboard is like, just like the most effortlessly cool thing I think you could do. I made the comment maybe one too many times about it. And my boyfriend got me my first ever skateboard for my birthday. And I'm obsessed with it. I took it out into my neighborhood and just like immediately started skating. Um, but like full nerd attack, helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, looked like I was in bubble wrap. I looked absolutely ridiculous. Did not look like, like a pro skateboarder yet. I don't have a lot of flex. Uh, I don't have a lot of flexes yet on the board. I definitely like really good at just like free rolling. Like I can do that. Tricks yet, I'm more, I'm like still working on it. Um, like kickflip, ollie, like all of those, like still like trying to master. I have yet to go on a pipe. A half pipe is not my jam yet. I'm actually terrified of it, but I love that feeling. I love like the challenge and I'm definitely down to accept it. I just need to wrap myself in bubble wrap first. Of course, like when you're skateboarding, you wanna look cool and impressive. And um, I always wanna look that way in front of my boyfriend. And he's really good at skateboarding. So he uh, was kind of trying to teach me some tricks and we were in my neighborhood. So around lots of people that I know. This is when I was first learning. So I was trying to skate really fast and kind of get like a good hang of like curving around like the street to sort of go back, just skateboard fully flew out from under my legs and fell right like pancake on my back. So I went back inside. <laughs> I went back inside my house and was like, I'm, I'm done. I'm never skateboarding again. But no, I did. I Yeah, that's, that's probably been my biggest fail so far in skateboarding. If little Olivia decided, I don't want to be an actress. I don't want to be a singer. I want to be a skateboarder. Olivia Holt, the skateboarding professional signature outfit would be white crop top cute blue skirt and black checkered bands. Probably with like a pop of color hat that she wears backwards all the time. And would listen to R&B, Blink-182. I feel like that would be her vibe. And sneakers all day long. Would never take them off. Would sleep in the sneakers. I think she would move to Venice Beach right next to the sand where the where the walkway is, where people ride bikes and they skateboard. I think she would get up every morning and just skate next to the water. She would eventually become BFFs with Tony Hawk and they would probably ride the half pipe together every afternoon, living the skating dream. That's what my life would look like, just me and Tony Hawk. <laughs> I think what's so interesting about it is for so long it's been looked at as like this male activity or hobby or sport and I think a lot of women don't get rec recognized for having a passion for it. I have just like fallen in love with like this idea of like having like some sort of like transportation on like my person but also like the idea that like females can do it too. Just skateboarding already is like such a cool thing but to be good at it and to just like challenge yourself and learn new things on it, I think is what makes it the most exciting. I think if you wanna get started in skateboarding, there's a lot of different things that you can do, right? I um, was gifted a skateboard and I just went out and tried it. You can go get your own skateboard and just skate around your neighborhood. Or if you feel brave enough, go to the skate park because I'm sure that there's so many people there that be, would be willing to help you learn. There's also tons of cool places on social media that you can go to. I follow this one account that's like an all-female skateboarding click and they skate in Venice Beach every weekend and all females are invited of all ages and it's just so fun and so liberating 
skating. And I think that starting with a skateboard and even if you're doing it by yourself, trying is the most important. But if you can find a group of people to do it with, I think it makes it more fun for sure. I think my mantra for this particular passion, and I'm gonna steal what my mother said to me all of the time growing up. If you're not crying, you're not trying. And I do, I cry every time I get on the skateboard because, because one, I'm not very good yet, <laughs> but I'm a professional. But two, I just wanna push myself. And sometimes, sometimes, some days I don't get there. I don't get what I want. But if you're not crying, you're not trying. Mic drop. Thank you everyone so much for watching Cruel Summer on Freeform. I'm so happy that everybody is loving it and I love hearing all of your theories. Thank you for listening to my music. I have more coming out soon. Thank you to Parade for having me. That was so fun and make sure to subscribe for more passion projects.